guys. How you doing? You guys ready for a show? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good one. What's the, what's the emotions nice. been like Short this? and sweet. Well, uh, there, there's a prediction, I guess. What's, what's the emotions been like this for you, like having to go through the changes in this, in this fight? Ah, it's fun for me, man. I, I'm, I'm just worried about keeping my paycheck intact and uh, and all that hard work I put in. You know, I'm not here to sit around the sidelines. I'm here to fight, and I'm here to get paid. I'm here to set myself up. You know, we got a short window in this career, and, and I'm looking to make the most of it. So I may answer it then. I mean, is it a tough situation at all? Because even Mike came in here and said, I know everybody's expecting me to lose. Is it a tough position for you to be in where basically everybody expects you to run through them? It doesn't matter to me. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm capable of and, and I let go that's the thing it's like I don't focus on the outcome I know what's gonna happen but in the in the moment I don't hold on to winning or losing I just focus on having fun and fighting I know how good I am I know what I'm capable of and I pretty much know how it's gonna finish but it's just a matter of letting that go and fighting your fight Is, does he present any danger at all to you uh, he, he's, a, he's an annoying guy if you let him get in your head he can he can get to a lot of guys um, so but I just keep my composure. I'm going to open them up. I'm going to find my opening, and, and, and then I'm going to make my kill. When you say set yourself up, what do you mean by that? And what does that, what does that uh, take exactly? Set yourself up. Set myself up? That's what you said uh, when you when your first your first. Sorry. Today. Yeah. Um, short window, set, set myself up. Yeah, I mean, you have a short window in this career, and so, you know, it's like I'm just looking to set myself up as in, you know, fulfill my dreams and, and retire a happy man, you know? That, that's... I'm talking. I'm talking money. I'm talking being comfortable, and you know, and with what I have, you know, at the end of this game. And uh, I, I don't. I, I'm not content. You know, I want. I want everything in life. You know, you live one life. I want to live the dream, and and I want. I want. I want everything. I want. I want it all. I want. I want a jet. I want houses. I want, it's like you want to live that dream. I want to be flying in the sky. Until I'm flying in the sky, I'm not happy. This is a big win. We've seen a lot of titles change hands recently. What's the secret to keeping the title for a long time? What what are fighters missing? Why are have so many titles been switching hands after one fight for some champions? They switch them because that because the you gotta grow, you gotta adapt to the game, and you gotta understand what the fuck is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody help us out! It's fucking. <laughs> you know. I, I'm so far ahead of this game, I understand every technique and every situation. Uh, there's nobody that's, that has the skill set that I have. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can beat you grappling, I can beat wrestling, I can beat stand-up. So, and, and I'm going to threaten you in all those areas. You know, Even if I don't fight you there, I'm going to threaten you. You're going to have to think about that, and I'm going to open up another hole. There's nobody pound for pound that has what I have. And works as hard as I work and has the heart and has the determination. I don't, I don't go into these fights with any regrets. I work harder than anybody in this game. So how do you improve? You, you, you've mentioned this, that you're so much further ahead than everybody else. How do you keep improving? You gotta keep that beginner's mindset. You gotta listen, you gotta adapt, you gotta learn from di different people. I, I, I seek always new information and try to pull from different people. You know, I, I don't stay within my realm. I don't have anything to hide. I'm not one of those guys that hides and stays within my my team and, 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 and makes all these secrets going in. It's like, no, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Look, this is what I'm gonna do. Try to stop me. I'll, I'll even post it on social media exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna implement it. I'm gonna use it. And it, you know, so I, I branch out. I go spar with Bisbing when I'm hungover and, and out of shape. You know, I don't care because I, I have nothing to hide. I will I will fight these guys in all their environments. In the end, you know, I gain. I learn. I I, I adjust. I don't hide. Who or what is the biggest threat to your success right now? You're at the top of the game. Where do you see the biggest threat coming from? None of it. None of these guys. It's all gonna finish. It's all gonna end. You know. I don't. I don't see anybody in this game. Are you disappointed it's not Weidman on Saturday? No. No. I'm excited. I'm excited to, to beat up Bisbee. You know. Weidman was. You know. Weidman. There. There was a little bit of, of talk. You know. Him spinning kicks and, and crap like that. But you know. Would have been. It would have been nice to, to finish that one off. But I'm sure I'll have my time to do that. And, and Bisbee's still running his mouth. You know, all these guys can talk. They can all complain, they can all whine. But guess what, they, they all lost. And they're all gonna lose again. You know, so Weidman's opened his mouth a little bit on Twitter, the guy's out of his mind. I, I beat him down, I broke him. He has, he has no room to talk. 
you know, shut your mouth, armchair MMA, don't don't get you far. What should come next for you, do you think? Do you think it should be like widening in New York? Do you think it's should be Jacare? What, what, what do you think? I mean, right now, people are talking about Jacare, you know, so uh, yeah, I don't like any fight to go the distance. Jacare is one of two fights that has gone to decision for me. And so I'd love to give an ending to that. Hey, if that's what, if that's what's next, that's what's next. But right now, I'm, I got Bisbing, and I still, I still got to handle my business. So with those, uh, those goals that you mentioned, what do you think needs to happen this week for you to take a step in, in, those, in that direction to get those goals? Uh, beating Bisbing is not good enough. It's not good enough to just win. I got to go out there and I got to do it in style. You know, I got to, I got to leave a, a lasting impression. I gotta, I gotta shut them up for a while, and and, uh, and let everybody know I gotta show something different, and I plan on doing exactly that. This can't be, you know, top ten. This has to be number one. You're gonna hear the dun 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 dun. It's going down, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna put it on them. Number one, mark my words. Has anything changed about uh, life as a champion for you? Man, I just it's more comfortable, you know. It's nice. It's nice having a little backing behind you. It uh, life, life's a little easier. Doors are opening, and, and uh, I think this is where I saw myself. This is, you know, it's just it's a matter of time. It's just going to go further. Tom flying in the sky. You talked earlier about, though about having like a beginner's mindset. Does that become more difficult when you realize like, hey, I'm the champion. I'm at the top. We have to try to find your, that way to, to keep that mindset of a beginner. This is fighting. I'm gonna go out there. This guy's gonna fight me. You know, I mean, I don't need any more motivation. It's like, like I said earlier, it's like you work hard for what you want, and you got to work even harder to protect what you've earned. And and, I, I, and the end is fighting. This guy's trying to beat me up in front of the world. I don't need any motivation. I don't. I don't. It's not about. It's not even about these guys. It's about myself. It's about reaching my own potential. So I push myself to even further every time and I don't care who I'm fighting I'm gonna push myself to the end I'm gonna try to improve technically I'm gonna try to put on performances that nobody can touch and I think I've done that everybody I have fought if you look on how I beat them nobody's beat them the way I beat them nobody and what's the main pressure that you as a champion takes to the UFC and MMA what's that what's the main pressure that you as a champion takes to the UFC and MMA the main pressure? Yeah, the main impression, the main uh, mark, you know, the main characteristic. Yeah. The main impression I want to leave? Yeah, that you leave now, you are a champion. That leave now, I mean, I, you know, I just want to, I just want to show that I'm the best, man. I want to show that hard work pays off. I want to show that I'm just, you know, it's hard, it's hard to put into words. I'm, I'm not translating exactly where you're going, but you know, I, I kind of. That's just, I'm going to leave my mark you know, and let it be whatever it may. Your thoughts about waiting at 10 a.m., like you're going to waiting at 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. is awesome. I, I think it's obviously draining yourself and, and holding that for uh, an extended period of time just so we can relate to the media is, is only harming our own bodies. So why can't we just go square off and still give you your show, still give you that square off, full, refreshed, and not parched, and so I can talk on the mic too. I mean, it's like, it's like I want to wake up in the morning, I want to walk downstairs, I want to hit the sauna, and I want to walk to the straight to the scale. That's what we all want. I mean, it's for the benefit of the, of the fighters, it's healthy, and then we can go square off, healthy, more pissed off, more invigorated, right in front of all you guys in the same thing, you get the same exact thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's better for everybody. I think other commissions will pick that up after seeing how, how this works. I hope they do. I hope they do, man. This is a, this is, a, I think it's a turning point. The game is evolving, and uh, and this is this is a big step in that direction. I'm, I'm happy to uh, be a part of that first round. I'm curious. Any chance you watched uh, UFC 198 with uh, Kane? Did UFC you get a chance to see 198 with Kane when Fabricio defended his belt? Uh, <sighs> yeah. I, I, I'm just curious what your thoughts were after you know after, at his first title defense that he lost the belt. Fabrizio. Verdum. Verdum. Yeah. I thought he was a joke. I thought he was he, he was making out with something he stole. This is like his how I saw Verdum. He's always parading around with a belt like he stole some of the stupid face he always kept. And how do you keep that face? How do you walk into the cage with that face on? Be a champion and, and, and carry yourself like so. You know I I, I just think. I'm not, I've never been a fan of, of Fabricio, and, uh, and I didn't think he was the true champion. So that's my opinion on that. Who's the greatest MMA fighter of all time? Best question. Man, 
man, there's so many good ones. <laughs> it's hard. The, the sport's evolving so much. It's it's hard to put put that on. I mean, there's so many legends out there, that, that, and the game has evolved too. Uh, you have to pick one. You have to pick one. <laughs> I, man, I don't know. I I, I have I have to uh, I have to defer on that one. I'm gonna go off. There's just too many I can I can say. But Kane has done some amazing things. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Chuck has done some amazing things. Randy Couture has done some amazing things. Those guys are, are uh, as complete, you know, martial artists as I've seen in the game. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you.